visitors. Before we start, let's make sure you understand how to navigate this lab room. This simulation uses voiceover. Using the lab pad is an important one. Perfect. Then let's get started with. All right, let's make sure. Click on the glove box to put on gloves. Now click on the safety goggles to put them on. Put a conical flask on the stand. This first challenge will teach you how to fill. Now pick up the clamp from the workbench and fasten it onto the stand. Nice. That's where you'll place the separatory funnel. Try it out. Awesome, to avoid spillages make sure the stop cut. Next, place the funnel on top of the separatory funnel so you can easily pour in some soda. Now you can pour the soda in. We don't want any liquid to spill at the next step. Remove the funnel and replace it with the stopper. Press the pick up button to pick up the separatory funnel. Before shaking the separatory funnel containing the soda, what do you need to ensure? That's correct. It shake the separatory funnel but make sure not to put it down just yet. If you feel like venting, then this why do we vent the separation funnel? Yes, when we shake the funnel, while the tip of the separatory funnel is facing upwards, open then close the stopcock to vent it. Nice one. If left unvented, the buildup of gas in the separatory funnel could push out of the stopper or spray liquid. Now let's practice making micro adjust. Carefully open the stopcock using the slider on the screen. Make sure to close the stopcock again. Yes, now I can finally enjoy ready for your challenge i using the method of lick i've replaced the ex first let's filter the coffee of impurities using the buckner funnel and a piece of filter paper Now turn the valve to decrease the pressure in the system and filter the coffee through the paper. This next step should be easy for you, simply transfer the coffee into the separatory funnel. Oh, and don't forget to use a funnel for the funnel, that's kind of funny right? Pick up the separation funnel and place it on the clamp. Pour the filtered coffee into the separatory funnel. Pick up the bottle of dichloromethane and pour some into the funnel. The caffeine is more soluble in the dichloromethane which is an organic solvent than in the coffee solution which is an aqueous solvent. So what seems like magic is in fact. In which phase will you find caffeine after the phase separation? Yes, most of the ca- Place the funnel back on the workbench. Before you proceed, make sure to insert the glass stopper to pr- Great, now you can pick up the separatory funnel. Why do we shake the separatory funnel? That's right, when you- Shake the separatory funnel. 
Remember to vent by opening the stopcock. Now close the stopcock. Place the separation funnel back on the stand again. Why can the caffeine transfer from the aqueous phase to the organic phase? Exactly. Caffeine is relatively more soluble in dichloromethane than in water. On a molecular level. Great work. Now the organ. By hovering your. The next step is. Use the slider to carefully open the valve and collect most of the organ. Awesome. Just so you know. We seem to have. I have the solution. Pour more dichloromethane into the separatory funnel. Repeat shaking the separatory funnel, venting it, and then placing it back on the stand. Remember to open and close the stopcock to vent it. Then place the separatory fun- Again, use the slider to carefully collect most of the organic phase into the empty con- Great work! I have closed the valve for you again, to make sure that none of- Pour some more dichloromethane into the funnel. Now, shake the separatory funnel, vent it, and then place it back on the stand. Remember to vent. Collect most of the organic phase into the empty conical flask. Oh no the valve is still open. That almost got messy. Make sure you close the stopcock. Great job. N Place the flask containing caffeine and dichloromethane on the heating plate and set the temperature to above 39.6 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of dichloromethane. Press start, then wait until the solvent boils off. Great work! Now transfer the extracted caffeine to the weighing dish. Now you can hover your cursor over the weighing dish to read how much caffeine you extracted from the 100 now that we know how to extract, I've reset the You know the drill. First let's filter the tea of impurities. Time to turn that valve. Remove the Buckner funnel from the filtration flask and add the filtered tea into the separatory funnel. Add dichloromethane to the funnel. Remove the funnel and put the glass stopper back in the separatory funnel. Now pick up the separation funnel and shake it. You've got this by now. Vent the separation funnel by turning the stopcock. Close the separation fu Place the separation funnel back on the stand again. Collect most of the organic phase into the empty conical flask. Since you've demonstrated how familiar you already are with the separation steps, I will Place the flask containing caffeine and dichloromethane on the heating plate and set the temperature to above 39.6 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of dichloromethane. Wait until the solvent boils off. Great work! Now transfer the extracted caffeine to the weighing dish. Great work! Hover your cursor over the weigh- When prepared as dry- You've become a master of the se- Let me ask you one last question. Do you feel- Thank you for your feedback. Your score has been saved together with your 100% progress. Congratulations, you have completed the simulation.